working on the bus. So I'm just cleaning these wheel wells. I've given them a big scrub and now I'm just going through with the wax and grease remover. And then I'm going to rust treat anything on these wheel wells slash put like rust preventer on them. Wait for that to dry and then sound deaden the wheel arches. Um, just to help with any of the vibrations from the road coming through, all that type of thing. And Dan is working on up the front here. We have this like wiring box that used to sit somewhere, I can't remember where exactly, somewhere up here. Um, so I've pulled that apart to see what all the wire is under it, where to reroute it. Um, and then we've pulled off this panel, pulled the floor up and trying to work out everything for where the fridge goes. So yeah, our fridge is going to go in the corner there. At the, well, that's the plan at this point in time. We actually ordered our fridge the other day, so we should that should arrive in the next day or so. So yeah, we're just trying to figure out how that's going to all fit and work. But yeah, we have been sleeping in here. So luckily we got this mattress. We just got a 100 mil mattress and it's actually been so fine so we're super happy with that um we'll always consider maybe getting a mattress topper or we have the space if we want to we could get a higher mattress but the reason why we're not is we just want to try and keep the bed as low as possible so the reason why the bed is fairly high um and the reason why we've gone with i guess just a 100 mil mattress at the moment is because we're kind of trying to or we're definitely trying to put our bikes under the bed we don't really want to have them on the outside this time just for peace of mind because we did have someone try to take our bikes once so we probably sleep better with them inside um so dan has built these like insets in the floor um so that's to try and get the bikes as low as possible so our bed can try to be as low as possible too I just used this Rust Guard paint stuff and I just absolutely went pretty generously on the wheel arch over here just to hopefully prevent any rust on these um, because these are then going to get covered with sound deadener. I've just started sound deadening the wheel arches so that's the next one I'm going to do over there. But yeah, it's coming up really well and now I've just got the front bit to do. And that's just going to help hopefully reduce a bit of road noise. We've got our fridge! Very nice. It looks good. Yeah. So this is our 118 litre fridge. Nice little sized freezer. It's a little bit bigger than our one that we had in, in the van. And the fridge size. And so I've just been busy building out this box section on this step just so the fridge can sit in there. I'm just going to remake this um, a little bit higher, but we just kind of did this with some offcuts to see how it fits. Super exciting day today. Dan is going to start building our couch area. So we haven't really talked through our layout much, so I'll give you a quick run through now. Behind the double seat in the front cab, we'll do a bathroom there and then we'll have the beautiful window in the bathroom and then we're thinking a little full height cupboard for hanging clothes and then we're thinking a small bench top here which will have our sink because we want to have the sink the same side as the shower just for the ease of plumbing and all that kind of thing so we'll have sink and then a little bit of bench top for the drying dishes and then this will be a C-shaped couch area, which will have a table in the middle, which will then drop down and also create another single bed for when we have people come to stay. And then we've got the kitchen. This is like the main kitchen area over here, which is going to go from about there all the way along. That will have our oven, which will be about there. There'll be a slight little bit of bench top and then we'll go oven and then the rest will be bench top space and then this will all be kitchen storage and then oh and in the bathroom we're going to have our toilet which is going to pull out um when you want to have a shower so that's the plan with that and then you'll like pull across a shower curtain but it's going to have a barn door on it i'm pretty sure something along the lines of that essentially that is our layout plan our bikes will go under the bed there'll be heaps of storage under the bed um and we'll have like a rooftop deck, solar, 
all that type of thing. So that's kind of a bit of a rundown if the plan stays the same. We have talked through so many different layout ideas. We've moved the couch in so many different places. We've moved the kitchen. We've moved the bathroom. I've drawn up so many different layout options um, and we've both <laughs> just been thinking of them all. But yeah, we feel like this is super functional. Um, we're also going to do our bench tops, I think at 500, so then we get like a pretty decent walkway because we're kind of worried about like if the walkway was going to be a bit too pokey, but I think it will be okay. But yeah, so that's where we're at. So today we're getting our seating area built, which is super exciting. Hi. And we've got Diesel here for the bus build. He was around for the van build and you're the project manager for the bus build too, aren't you? Good boy, good boy. Go and see what Dan's doing. So Dan has just made up this framework for our seating area. Nice. They're massive too, how good's that? So we've been busy building our seating area slash underbed storage. Um, so I've just made up these two drawers, which will be clothing drawers for under the bed. Um, super lightweight drawers just made out of 9mm ply, rebated in at the bottom. And so now we're just building the big drawer down the bottom that goes the whole way back. Um, for the bikes and then utilizes all this space for this seat as well. So that'll then come and slide through here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and build that now. We'll build that one a little bit more heavy duty um, and use a bit better drawer runners just because it's a bigger drawer and we'll fit a lot of good stuff in there. So we'll get cracking on that now. So this is the current bus situation. I painted the lounge area just to seal the wood whilst we're living in it because of the moisture and then I'll go and paint that a different colour down the track. But yeah, so this is currently our seating area. This is currently where we have been sleeping and yeah, this is where we're at currently. So on the cards today, Dan is on the roof trying to mount our solar panels and I'm going to be sound deadening our front cab area. Alright, I reckon that's gonna work now. Yes! I did it! After scrubbing about 30 years of dirt out of the front cab area, it is finally looking so much cleaner, which is awesome. And now I'm up to sound deadening the front cab area. So, this is what I sound deadened yesterday. First step was wax and grease removing the area, so then the sound deadener can have the best chances to stick. So I've done that and now I'm going to apply the sound deadener using my sound deadener applicator roller. I have finished sound deadening the front cab area and then Dan made up a new piece to go over the top of this engine bay here and then we've sound deadened on top of that. But yeah, the whole cab is sound deadened and the chairs can now go back in. So we are just building the frame for this kitchen area. We'll do three drawers and then have the oven and then do like a slide out pantry down this side. So yeah, just measuring it up and cutting it all out and put it all together. Oh, it's just a bit off. So we've just made a couple drawers, we've got this little one here made, you've just got to attach the runners, but this is a little one that'll come out from under the oven, which will be perfect for all baking stuff, oven trays, all that kind of thing. And scoot back in there, it's just a nice little lightweight drawer. Um, so, yeah. And then we've got this one here, which is a pretty heavy duty drawer. Um, this will be for all of it, a lot of our heavy stuff. This is like a nice big pots, pans, um, all that kind of stuff. So. Pretty solid drawer, but we want it to be strong to take everything. And then, yeah, we'll just have another two drawers coming up here. So we are just getting ready to install our Swift gas hot water heater. Um, it's just gonna go in this position here. So I've cut out the plywood lining that we did for the walls, um, cut it out, and we're gonna actually move over a little bit just because there's that, and I can't be bothered cutting through it, but yeah, so 
we've got it all set out, we'll go outside and measure it all up, um, make sure it's in the right location, and then make some cuts and fingers crossed we get it right. But yeah, the aim for this is to get the hot water system so it sits directly on the floor, so it supports it because it is 28 kilos um, when full, plus five kilos for the um, unit, so yeah. It's fairly weighty, so obviously we don't want it floating kind of thing, as hard down to the floor as possible. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, make, take some measurements, go outside and transfer those measurements to the other side of the bus, and then yeah, get cutting. Yay! We just rust treated the edge with some edge primer all along there and now we're just putting the butyl tape around so I just use butyl tape and put it around the opening um, and yeah just to fill any voids and fill up all the gaps so I'll finish doing that now yeah keep So basically I've gone around and I've taped up around before I did the mastic just so then it makes clean up a little bit easier. I also went around um, before putting the tape on with acetone in a rag and wiped acetone just to prime the surface um, just because that's what this Sikaflex needs as a primer is just um, yeah, some acetone. So did all that then put you saw me putting the butyl tape on, finished doing that and put one bead of um, mastic around between the butyl tape and this, like the flange for this. Um, and then I've just pushed it back, put the screws in, and now we'll start cleaning it up. So I've just gone around and sicker flex it all in. Now I've pulled the tape off. You've got a nice clean one. Dan installed our hot water system, which is awesome. So this is what we'll use for our hot showers and hot water to do the dishes. Dan's over here building our kitchen carcass. Glue and screw. This side will have our sink and it will have three drawers and also our hot water system will be down the bottom. We've got a lot of stuff in here because we are kind of half living in the bus whilst building it. We're in um, currently in a family's driveway so we've been able to put some of our belongings inside and cook inside and whatnot but we are slowly moving all of our stuff in and it's becoming more and more livable Thank goodness to Dan the Builder for being able to build these in a very quick amount of time. So this is where our battery and our inverter is going to go. We actually really struggled to choose a spot for our electrical area. We had a few different ideas but safety wise we decided to put them in their own cupboard here which will have some ventilation and things like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this will also, we'll probably have shelves in there or we could change it to full height hanging if we wanted to. But yeah, there we go. Which will be next to, there'll be our kitchen drawers here and then there'll be also a wall that separates obviously the cupboard from this area. And yeah. This is the third drawer that's being constructed now. And then Dan is just marking them out and Dan's doing the nail gunning around the edges. We have definitely prioritized drawers in this build and especially being able to access our underbed storage from inside rather than um, the outside, just because it's super easy to just be inside if you want something and get it out. So, I mean, there's pros and cons because if you access the drawers from outside, you can have a more of like a garage feel, which we will have, just not as much, I guess. So we've got three drawers here, one under the oven. We've got this big one under the bed, which fits heaps of storage. We've got these two under the bed, which will probably be like our clothes drawers. And then we're gonna have these three in the kitchen. And then we've got a cupboard here for storage. We'll have a little cupboard in our bathroom. And then we've got a little bit of shoe storage down here, which will have a cupboard door on it. And we'll also have shoe storage in the little stair area here. But yeah, we just find drawers super practical and easy to use in a tiny home. 
Thank you so much for watching our latest bus build update. We are so excited that we now have our layout organized. We have built so much storage and it's really starting to turn into our tiny home on wheels. We'll see you in the next video where we install our yacht hatch and our beautiful cedar roof. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.